What does throw it back cutting like frisbee mean? I know what is what is he catching? What? Oh wait. Um what what? You are now reacting to the co-ed group card and their song Icky. The huh? meaning of the song is suggestive, so they use innuendos to avoid being too explicit, but the lyrics are still pretty bold to shock fans who started joking around saying that this song is quote adult K-pop, end quote. <laughs> the song is composed by EJ, Isaac Han, Aaron Kim, Ash On, and the card member BM. I have a little video for you guys to watch. Oh, here we go, here we go. What up guys, I'm BM, and I'm really excited for this reaction, specifically because uh, I wanna hear the perspective of a classical musician listening to me, and I feel like one, there could be a lot to learn, and two, I want to see what you think about my verse. Your verse? Okay! That's so cool! His verse? Yes. Interesting. Is he gonna sing in English? I hope yeah. so. Okay, okay. <laughs> That you got to do a little mini interview. Did you do an interview too? Yeah, so we filmed a collaboration. Which member played a classic instrument? Seven years <laughs> Oh, sick. I like that. Well, I, like one, I don't hear much. I don't. I never really think about co-ed K-pop groups. Right. But we're That's starting exciting. with urinals and mice. Oh, those are. I didn't even notice urinals. I, did, I just noticed them too. I just looked at the pipes. I don't know. What kind of humor? What kind this of. This is toilet humor. What kind right. of ick? I, I like it when artists. Mm -hmm try to do like tackle vulgar subjects. Mm -hmm. I think that needs to be that stigma stigma needs to be continually challenged. So mm -hmm. are you ready? Yeah. Okay, three, two, one, eek. Rat noises. Oh no. Oh. oh the vocal fry immediately? Yeah. Whoa. The vat of acid episode. I'ma get down. It's like a halftime kind of thing. All right. The beat doesn't, it doesn't satisfy yet, but I feel it coming. You hear that, like, timbales in the background? Yeah, like a little fill. What? How does that, how does that work? What do you mean vocal? Gotta get that. Yeah, it's kind of like building up here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they kind of have like that traditional Spanish dance yeah. group going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have that yeah. as a background, yeah. <laughs> That's explicit. My innuendo. No. <laughs> <laughs> I want that sweater. <laughs> Ending on the flat six. Mm. Oh, cause she's seeing a, basically a D dominant seven sort of thing, but it's on one. So that's why it felt so weird. Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Got that like dance pop kind of EDM vibe on there. Just like that. So yo. <laughs> that's that's hard. Oh, he looks like Jared Leto. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That was, I like how it was very natural rhythm though. It wasn't quantized. <laughs> oh man. Are you desiring that icky, Isaiah? <laughs> oh, no, that was a different song. Oh. Oh. Like WAP Doja Cat vibes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's hype. Wow. I love the beat on that yeah. so much. Yeah. I'm like, 
kind of a hoe for bass lines. <laughs> and that bass line was, it's just that classic club vibe. You know, I imagine like you walk into some club and there's like these giant subwoofers up and there's It's like, um, kind of a little bit like the bass line in Thank You Next is very similar, where it has like those kind of glissandos, that glissandi that go up and down. Just a very sweet, like the rich sound. It's nice production. It's just good production, in my opinion. It just makes you want to get up and start bumping to yeah, the Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And at the very least, it makes you want to put on some noise canceling headphones and just, oh yeah. Like while I'm doing homework, you know? <laughs> yeah distract you from the pain of homework. <laughs> what I, I think is really commendable about this song is that it actually reminds me of um, a lot of uh, Latino pop, like Brazilian pop music, actually. Like even the structure and the way they choose to develop things sort of s stay the same with a lot of it. It feels like it's, it actually would be a really fiery song. It, it really fits the pop music of that region. I see, I, for me, it was a little too repetitive. I think the gimmick worked up until the first chorus, and then the icky, 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 I wanted something more. I think the, the icky, icky, it, it, it gets stuck in your head in a way that sometimes you don't always want. Or like the way they- It's not a word anymore? They, a little bit like that. A little bit like it's not a word anymore, but like the icky, icky, like it's so, purposeful in its delivery to be like a little nonchalant, but also just like, ooh, we're gonna just, yeah, use this word and like rapid fire it a lot. I liked it. I, yeah. Because it got, they really played with the onomatopoetic nature of mm. the word, because it's mm. icky, it kind of gets stuck in your mouth. I think the icky thing would be a lot more alleviated, I guess. Um, if the second half of the chorus didn't use it as well. Because the icky, I, 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 and then da, 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 and they kept going with like an icky, icky, icky. It's the A, A, B, A form. Yeah. Oh. No, oh, yeah. Wow. I didn't think about that. I like the the repeated icky kind of. It was it's very much an earworm. I, I don't want to put it out at the beginning. I'm trying to put out some other things. I love the start of it, icky, and then into a vocal fry. Mm. What what better to like grind your gears than like immediate, really, really present vocal fry? It's mm. it catches your attention immediately, and it has a connotation of being like bad <laughs> or like just not an impure tone. You know, uh, that's kind of fun to hear. Uh, she always releases it with a breath too. It's icky. Um, which the breath also to go. Uh. <laughs> yeah the, the breath also just a bit a bit more heavy breathing can also kind of connotate something in, in the sexual nature or just mm -hmm. like a worked up nature so I thought that was yeah. effect that was a, a good artistic choice towards that intent how is this for you I really liked the beat it was kind of like a songo groove almost oh, and that's oh, like yeah. a, a another Latin groove that I only know the drum set groove. <laughs> yeah, I don't really, but the way it goes is, um, I don't know how I could play a drum Wait, set for you. I'll be your ride cymbal. No, I just, <laughs> it's like, it's, um, the, the left hand is going, right? But if you flip it, it goes, that's what it yeah. is. And that's kind of like what they're doing. And I feel like a lot of pop artists and like dance music is kind of using that now. You got that one. Got, ba, got, got. It's very groovy. It makes me want to dance, and there's a lot more like encouragement of moving like an entire body, like less. I'm, I don't know. I'm speaking out of my ass. I actually don't any, know anything about Latin dance, but I always envision like hips moving. Um, which, if they're going for innuendo, they even said like this is my innuendo. So maybe there's some. I, I don't know if their intent is like, oh, let's use a Latin rhythm to kind of get people to think about moving with their like hips in their waist. So that's my line of thought with uh, like the, the musical intent of that. And I thought it was really yeah. nice and groovy. I also like the timbale stuff they were adding. Before coming into that groove, they did like a little timbale fill. Yeah, there it is, there it is. <laughs> yeah, it sounds yeah. like something you'd hear from Arturo Sandoval or something yeah, like that. I, I don't even know if that's a timbale, hold on, let me. It sounds like a timbale, it's trying to be. Or maybe a bongo? No, it's, it's some high-pitched drum. It's at the very least yeah. Latin-inspired a little yeah. bit. I like that. To answer BM's question, what did you think of his verse? Dude, it's giving Offset but from Migos. Really? Yes! Um, yeah. Dude, it's because it's a triplet flow, too. It, that's like a big Migos thing. Like, oh, that's a Migos beat when it's triplet flows. And, uh, oh, can I pause? I love that. So it's like um, triplets are kind of overused in rap a little bit. He does 
do a little bit more creatively where he uses kind of the quarter note triplet. The backbeat is, uh, is the 16th note based. With all these offbeat triplets, so it's, mm. it goes from, uh, it, it kind of like switches up the vibe immediately. Like it's like he's using almost like three different types of rhythms in like a short space. Short, short, long. What does threw it back cutting like frisbee mean? I know, what, are, what is he catching? <laughs> What? Oh wait. Um. What? What? I'm gonna go I like the there. Let's, let's figure it out. The yeah. pheromone line is kind of great. This is growing on me. I like it's it. It is growing. It is growing on me. Yeah, the chorus is working. <laughs> oh, I threw it back. Caught it like frisbee. Yeah. When, when, you, when you know what throwing it back means? Like throw that ass back. Oh, threw it. Threw it back. Uh huh. Caught it like frisbee. Like yeah. So. I don't, okay, mean, okay, I, I don't okay, think, okay. like, you don't literally throw an ass and cat, but like, you don't throw my ass. what do you throw, like, what do you throw back? Ass. What do you throw and come catch back? Frisbee. Either he help? did or, yeah. or their, or his partner yeah, yeah, threw good. it back okay. so hard I'm that down. it was like I'm catching down. I'm down with the line Wait, now. Yeah. It feels like in the structure of the song, the perfect place for the, the rap mm. break, you know? Mm. Like two courses in right before yeah. the last one. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. one I respect. Um, Certain individual lines. I gotta, yeah, I gotta say, as far right. as our experience, though, mm -hmm. none of what I said has anything to do with my classical listening background. Yeah, exactly. More of my appreciation of American hip hop, mm, exactly, except yeah. for just knowing the theory of <laughs> triplet. <laughs> 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 yeah. I think that that's a fun situation. Emiola, yeah. yeah. Um, but that's a good way to mix up a flow. And if you didn't know what that was called before, now he knows what it's called. Mm. And the listeners too. 